And right across the Mississippi River in Wisconsin, Prairie du Chien was also hit hard. Its airport suffered significant damage. The wind took down airplane hangars, destroying a World War II airplane. News 3's Brittany Paris talked to the owner about why it is re irreplaceable. When storms rolled through Prairie du Chien, they ripped through the town's airport, taking down these hangars and with them a piece of history. This is the damage a fierce storm barreling through the small town left in its wake. A whole bunch of wind crashing. It was green outside. It was very scary. Two by fours through car windows, roofs ripped off buildings, airplane hangars torn to shreds. The hangars totally destroyed. It's a slab of concrete now, yes. The but the biggest loss, a 1942 L3 Defender, an aircraft flown in World War II, destroyed when a metal hangar came crashing down. It's been great to have. Every year we've annualed it, and it's primarily to give rise uh, usually to veterans that were in the Second War. Frank Weeks bought this plane for $750 over 50 years ago, a piece of history he hoped to keep in his family for generations. It's very sad to us. It's worse than losing your dog. This aircraft has stood the test of time. Prior to the Second World War, uh, the small airplanes that were made were converted then when the war started to be military planes. And each one was modified for its job. Primarily, it was supposed to be for artillery spotting so they couldn't see where the shells were landing. It's also seen its fair share of storms. It's been through a lot of storms. I've never worried about it. So when Frank saw the damage, he was understandably devastated. It's really sad to lose it because it's not replaceable. And uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's very unique. Frank is now looking into whether this damage can be repaired and just how much that'll cost. In Prairie du Chien, I'm Brittany Paris, WISC News 3. Frank has flown that aircraft every year for the 50 years that he's owned it. Says he's disappointed this will be the first year he won't be able to give rides to World War II veterans.